Baby? Baby, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the dream. You're sweating. You sure you okay? Yeah. yeah. Well, dinner's ready. All right, cool. All right, hurry up. Get changed. This looks great, honey. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hooray! Officially. 30 is not old. Let's see how you feel about that a couple years from now when you turn 30. Are you gonna be this grumpy all weekend? No, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Ah, I know that face. What's wrong, Super Hulk? It's stupid. Tell me. I like stupid stuff. I told you about my, my birth mother. And how every year at this time, I feel like she's going to find me. And, you know, she's just waiting to surprise me. And I, I don't know. I feel like turning 30 it makes a dream seem more and more impossible. Maybe that's a good thing. Why? The adoptive parents love you. I love you. When you finally knock me up, our children will love you. You have so much love from the people that exist in your life that maybe it's okay to leave this illusion of your mother behind. Thirty could be a great new chapter in your life. What do you mean? Well, you know, you could go back to school. Maybe get a career. <laughs> Imagine me going back to school. <laughs> I know math. Hold it right there. Turn around. What do you got there? Garbage. You live here? For six months now. Let's see what's in the bag. Trash. What's your name? Lance O'Brien. Unit number? 99. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. You know, you have other shirts you can pack. I sure do. You cannot pack the gun this time. Don't be crazy. What if we need it? Haven't ever needed it. Please, my birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday today. Tomorrow, just another camping day. You know, the damn thing makes me nervous. Oh, you're so white. No. No, if I was white, I'd love guns. But, however, I'm not. Those things have killed thousands of my people. A result of poverty and lack of education, not the color of your skin. And it doesn't only concern black people. Just admit that your waspy parents just drilled this fear of gun into you. God. So what? They wanted me to be safe. It's certainly better than rolling with the homies at 14. That's not safe. At least they taught me about life. I can hold my own in any situation. What, what are you going to do when we get attacked by a wolf, huh? 
Huh? What you gonna do? What I'm you sure, got? Sure what you got? What you got, big boy? What? <laughs> Kick it in the face. <laughs> You're such a dork. All right, all right. All safe. All right. This was my last thing. I'm all set. Now, to your um, last present. Da 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 da. Would you like some, darling? Talk to somebody about this. You've been having a lot of bad dreams lately. I can handle it. I'm sorry. I just gotta put this brief together, and then I'm gonna be free for the rest of the weekend. No! Oh, just an hour. I promise. It's actually a really interesting case. So this guy. He embezzled 250k from the company. Cut and dry, right? Huh, no. His boss left a paper trail that we were... All right, I know we said we're gonna do this together tomorrow morning, but why don't you choose a really nice camping site for us? Somewhere near water. Isolated. I want to swim naked this time.
The turn should be coming up. Got off the highway? Uh, about seven and a half miles. Okay. So a little bit farther, and then the turnoff should be on your left. Oh, nice. You really got us out into the middle of nowhere this time. Well, I had to see you swim naked in the river. Mm. Babe, can you grab me water? Wake up. We need to get him to a hospital. Oh, that's near impossible up here. We don't have a vehicle or nothing. Anyway, he's just got a little bump on the noggin, same as you. I hope so. Why don't you just let him rest, dear? Let me show you something. As I was saying, my name is Mary, and our home is your home. Now, me and uh, my husband, Ivan, sleep in, in that room, and most everybody else sleeps out here, except for Flab. He's got his own shack out back. Oh, gets his own place. I guess he's pretty special. Oh, yes. Flab is going to be the next leader. He needs his own place to prepare. This is the kitchen. This is my stove. This is my favorite pot. Sounds like you spent a lot of time in here. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I like your dress. What? Well, thank you. Had it 40 years. <laughs> It still looks like new, don't you think? Do you have a, a bathroom? Bathroom? <laughs> you want to wash up the rivers down that way? Oh, no, no. I need to, um, you know. Oh, you need the outhouse. <laughs>
Hello. Good afternoon, darling. How are you feeling? Still woozy. Uh, good to see you up and around. You two hit that tree pretty hard. You saw the crash? Big fellas out there moving it right now. Thanks. There was this thing that popped out of the woods and made us crash. It... Huh. Things happen, I guess. Now you going inside. Take it easy. How's he doing? Oh, the same. Thank you again for helping us. Oh, you're welcome. Preparing dinner already? Oh, better to be safe than sorry. Dinner should be at 7 p.m. sharp. Hello. I'm Kendra. I'm Caitlin. Caitlin is a pretty name. It's a very pretty girl. So what do you do for fun out here, Caitlin? Do you go to school? Oh, we teach our children everything they need to know right here at the old homestead. Oh, you have other children out here? Oh, yes. Oh, well, not now. Kids, they grow up, they move out. Sure. But some of them stick around. Vlad will be back for supper. He's my oldest. Caitlin, honey. Why don't you go get a piece of meat? <sighs> she is a little shy, <laughs> but she's a good girl. <laughs> Lance, oh my God. I was worried about you, you okay? I think so. How about you? I'm fine. She's a little scraped up. What happened? Uh, well, Mary... Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> this is Lance. Nice to meet you. You too. Her family found our car and they brought us here to rest. Where is here? Oh, this here is the Polifer Homestead. For nearly 150 years, it's been right on this spot. Wow. But where is here geographically? Oh, <laughs> I don't know about no geo -Maferly. We're in the Oak Belt. We're in the shadow of the Great Mountain. You're lucky we found you. We don't get but two strangers a year around here. Really? I didn't manage that. Well, Polifers keep to ourselves. It's been that way from the beginning. You got a bathroom? I wash my face. <laughs> bathroom? <laughs> bathroom? We ain't got no bathroom. <laughs> we got a river. It's right down the path to your right. You can't miss it. Oh, would you mind picking up a bucket of water on your way? Sure. Be careful out there. Yes. <laughs> We need to get you washed up. Okay. So what do you think? What, about her? I think she's a little weird. Oh shit. This family's been living alone for 150 years. It's a lot of inbreeding. I'm serious. Doesn't this place make you feel uneasy? Not really, no.
<laughs> oh shit, that's cold. <laughs> oh Jesus. Strip and jump in. Get out, you idiot. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling okay? A little dizzy. Comes and goes. I know, but we need to get you to a hospital. How about we just stay the night here? Come on, I'm serious. You know, one of us would actually have a concussion. You don't want to mess with those. First of all, we, we don't know what's up with the fuck. Secondly, the sun goes down in about two hours. And it's not smart to roam the woods, busted and broken, alone, lost, in the dark. What the fuck was there? I don't know. The noise. Maybe a wild boar. Do we have those there? Probably. Let's go check in the car and see about the damage. Just in case it's in the kitchen. You brought it back here. Thank you. It wasn't easy. The lad did most of the work. You couldn't drive it? The radiator's got a hole in it from the tree. Oh, damn. Not gonna drive it anytime soon. Okay. So what are we gonna do now? Well, I could probably fix it. I'm good with mechanical stuff. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Is there anything else wrong with it? No, not that I can tell. Great, so how long to fix it? Three, four days. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta be at the office Monday morning. There's nothing I can do about that. I gotta rebuild all the wavy parts one at a time. And you can do that? Like I said, I'm good with mechanical stuff. Hello. How you doing? Just gonna grab her. Glove box. Later. family. Ah, so, these are our guests. Yes, this is Lance and Kendra. Lance, huh? and what brings you two all the way up here? We're just looking for a nice, quiet, nature-filled weekend. Nature we got. Quiet, not so much. <laughs> this place you have here is, it's, it's very nice. What do you mean? Um, living for your society, that's, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. We don't need your approval, Lance. I'm sorry, I was just, you were just what? I didn't, I didn't mean to offend. <laughs> You're pulling your leg, son. <laughs> I think it's great to have some fresh meat in this house. <laughs> <laughs> so, what Ramon tells me, you'll be with us for a few days. It would seem so. <laughs> Hi. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kendra. 
Allah. Welcome to our home. Have you lived here alone, Ella? Leave her alone. Were you born here? You're curious. I understand. I mean, what's up? What's a Negro doing with a bunch of white folks? Huh? Huh. You see, we do get visitors like yourself now and then. I spent my hair over 30 years ago. Ella found us. She was lost. Well, not just in the forest, but in life. She felt outcast from the world you live in. She would talk about your keepers of the law, about the bigotry in your society. After spending a few days or with us, she decided to stay. She clearly can't decide. <clears throat> Hold on, Blood. She didn't mean to disrespect Ella. You see, uh, just a few years after Ella became a polypher, she, she suffered a terrible tumble down a cliff. We did everything we could to fix her. You didn't take her to a hospital? That's not possible out here. But I did what I could. Abbott is a very good doctor. He has healing hands. I just wish I could have done more. Go on, heat up. It's a good meat. So is it, uh, is it true what you said about Ella? It was indeed. I gotta tell you, what you have going on up there, it's not at all what somebody might expect. My great-great-granddaddy moved across the country at a time of great political turmoil. Things were changing in the Republic. People with different views, like himself, just were not accepted. So he came up here to build the utopia. That's right. And it wasn't easy. He settled somewhere. Other people would find him and curse him. He'd have to move on. Even now, here in this place, we are in constant danger of being found and forced to move back into society. The world has changed a lot since then. Might not be such a bad idea to have some contact. Well, I doubt it's changed as much as you might think. Like I said, we do get people through here. They all paint pretty much the same damn picture. Intrusive government. Biased people. What are your ways that we wouldn't accept? I mean, you all seem like normal people. I mean, you might 
need some time to adjust, but... Tell you what. How about you and me doing a little hunting tomorrow morning, maybe? Give you a taste of our life. Okay. Sure. Good. Sounds like fun. Should I bring my wife? No. Men only. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait three to four days for the car to be fixed, if he can even fix it. I say we take our packs and we head towards the road. I was supposed to go hunting with Ivan tomorrow. You trust him? Sort of. He's weird, but <laughs> some of the things he says kind of make sense. And this place has a cozy, homely feel to it. Okay. Um... Killing animals with creepy mountain guy? Not such a good idea. Think of it like an extraordinary adventure. If we traveled anywhere else in the world, we'd be coming into a new culture, new place. They always say it's about the journey. This is our journey. Okay, fine. One day. But we leave Monday morning bright and early and we go try to find reception, okay? You come from a large family? No, no, I'm an only child. Huh. I was adopted when I was three. Adopted? Yeah, my birth parents abandoned me. They took me in. I see. I know about that. Seen it happen here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We take family very seriously. It is the only thing we have up here. Did your adopted parents treat you good? Of course. They try to give me everything life has. They're just some things you just can't give. They let you down. No, not really, no. They just weren't prepared to handle the things I had to deal with. No way they could be. Yeah, no one ever is. What is it? Oh, it's nothing you gotta worry about. Huh? Probably just a badger or something. Okay. Kendra, why don't you come on over here and help me out? Yeah, not that much of a card in her. Oh, there's nothing to it. Well, every plant I've ever touched has died. Everything dies. That's a part of life. Is this all you do every day? There are some other things we do. <laughs> Mostly this, though. I think I'd go nuts without having a computer. What's so great about a computer? Are you kidding? Access to the Internet, unlimited sources of information at your fingertips. Technology has given us everything we could ever need. We live just fine without it. Yeah, well, that's great, but I can do it. Um, that should be enough for today. Caitlin, bring those vegetables on over, and uh, we're going to get headed back home. Help me up, honey. Of course. Ah. Are you happy with your life? Uh, uh, well, yes. I, I love my wife. I love my parents. My job is bleh. What can you do about that? Yeah. 
Are you happy with your life? Every aspect of my life fills me with joy. Each morning is filled with wondrous possibilities. In the evening, I have dinner with my lovely family. I've never heard someone so happy. Walk a mile in my shoes, son. You might be that happy, too. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Look there. See, a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want you to kill it. Oh, I, I don't know. This no, oh, just line the rabbit up at the end of the barrel and right here. You got him. Go on, go on. Line him up. This? Yeah, that's it. Line him up. A little lower, breathe easy. Don't think about anything else. Just the kill. You mentioned you had other children. Yes. And they all moved away? Most of them died. Divorce can be unforgiving. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I... Do you have children? No. Um, Lance and I are going to try next year. Once I get to where I need to be at the firm. My job. You work outside the home? Definitely. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. That pays a lot? Yeah. How do you know that? Oh, we had this couple early this year. Fella was a lawyer, like you say, couldn't stop talking about his job. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's what I heard. Kids, they pick up on one thing from the outside world and they go running off. But not Caitlin. You'll stand here, right, honey? Lance. Oh my God! What happened? Who did this to you? Was it Ivan? I'm gonna fucking kill him! <laughs> Hell! It's, it's not my blood. We were skinning the rabbits, and the damn thing squirted all over me. You're such an asshole! Come on, I, Ivan thought it would be funny too. Oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sorry, it was a joke. Well, screw you with your mountain man jokes. Come on, it was, I was just playing. Relax, relax. Have some fun on your time off. I love you. Oh! Oh, 
See, this is what I was talking about. Hillbilly stole my fucking gun. <laughs> Hillbillies? Yeah. I'm sure they put it in a safe place. You don't want Caitlin hurting herself with it, knowing there's no hospital close by, right? They stole my gun. I, I don't understand you sometimes. Why can't you just be trusting for once? I'm sorry. You want me to yell at you all night? They're good people. They don't have the social graces that we're used to, but that's no reason to be so offensive every fucking time. So my husband is trusting some redneck over his own wife. I'm serious. You know, you have no idea what it's like to be in a real situation because you've never been in a real situation. Well, let me tell you something. This is a real situation. That's your go-to. You had a tough life, so I know nothing. Yeah, it's true. No, it's not. Mm. Holy shit. Mm. Are, you, are you hurt? All right, motherfucker, you want to go? Babe. What? Right about that real situation. Come on back to the house. What the fuck was that? Where are all those people? You shouldn't wander into the woods at night. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break some law? Tell me what's going on right now. You're not looking very hard, are you? I'm sorry, I know it's not your fault, but I just want to get out of here. So do I. He knew we wanted to leave. What do you want from me? Maybe he had other things to take care of. He lives in the middle of the forest. His other things can wait. Okay, no more bullshit. Where exactly did Ivan go? I don't know. It's not my place to ask. Jesus Christ, it's like talking to a wall with you people. Okay, let me put this simply. Who are the people in the forest? Oh, we don't talk about them. You know about them? Yes. If you wanted to leave this house, could you? This is my home. I wouldn't ever leave. That's not the question I asked. Could you? Give it a rest. Come outside with me. I'll give it a rest when um, I'm back on the highway. Please, please, what? please, please. What's wrong with you? It's not safe for you here. Why? What's going on? You have to see what they are. Then... You'll understand. They have caves. Caves? Where? Follow the river upstream. At the big log, you'll see it off to the side. <clears throat> Stop! 
Don't touch me! Rins? Keep her busy. What? I'm tired of you always telling me what to do. You don't know everything, Kendra! If you weren't being an idiot, I wouldn't have to tell you what to do all the time! I'm so fucking tired of you. Oh, yeah? Bitch! Tea. From the cave. There's a ton of stuff like that. And the caves are huge. Who knows what else is there? They're killing people. We need to get out here now. Where's Caitlin? I told her to hide on the other side of the hills. Let's go. Ivan should be back soon. We're in a waiting for Ivan. It's dangerous. Fuck away from me. That's uncalled for. How do we get out of here? You walk right out the door there. You crazy bitch. You tell me how we get out of this fucking forest. You can't. You watch me. Such a nice girl. You got a bit of a mouth on you. But you're pretty. We could have made you happy here with us. Oh, I'd be happy to cut off your fucking head! Come on. Let's go. Such a shame. It would have been nice having another woman around. What the hell are you doing?
Caitlin. Why'd you tell us about the caves? So you'd get scared and want to escape? Escape? Yeah, you know, tough or whatever. Especially you. I think you might actually make it out of here. Have you tried to get out by yourself? A few times. How long have you been here? Two years. I had a real mom and dad. Then they killed him and brought me here. Do you know why they brought you here? And all this time, you've never been able to escape. No. Why not? Because of the people in the woods. They always bring me back. I tried going in a bunch of different directions, but... Are there more people here? It's, is Ella being held against her will? I don't know. I've never actually seen her or Ramon kill anybody. I've actually seen them kill people. A couple like you. A family. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How many of these wood people do you think are there? I don't know. A, a hundred? A thousand? Do you know why they keep bringing you back? I don't know. I just... I just want to go home. Caitlin. We'll take you home. Promise? Promise. First, we gotta figure out how many there are. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. We need to know exactly what we're dealing with. Get the gun. The more I see these fuckers, the more I think it was one of them that jumped in front of our truck. Really? You think? They sprung the trap, delivered us to Ivan. Caitlin, when you got captured, how did they do it? We were camping. They attacked us in the night. Opportunists. You said you would take me home. We will. Do you know where they might keep my gun? The caves, right? I don't know. What the hell have you been doing the past few years? 
walking around with your fucking eyes closed? What the hell is wrong with you? She's just a little girl. What? I don't give a shit. You don't seem to get what's going on. I get it. I get it big time. No, these fucking people are going to kill us. And that's the best case scenario. Well, yelling at her isn't going to do anyone any good. Let's just go get the gun. From the cave. From the house. They keep their loot in the caves. If I stole a gun, I would keep it in the house. I'd keep it close. We'd go to the house. Mary and Vlad were at the house before we left. They're probably still there. Oh, I know. I should have killed a fucking bitch when I had the chance. Fine. We go to the stupid caves. Fuck! Just drive out of here. Radiator's busted. It's gonna overheat. Not immediately. We don't have any keys. Are you street? Hot wire. What did you get last time? Not very. This way. Check out the house now. Have an 
idea. Who's there? It's me. Oh, it's you, Caitlin. Is it time for supper? No, not that time yet. Just bored. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe I could braid your hair? Oh, that'd be nice. You know who this is? This was one of my children. All this talk about family and security. And this is what you do? I feed them, I clothe them, I train them. But inevitably, some of them will begin to think for themselves. And since we can abide no insubordination, that is when it is time for them to be recycled back into the family. You eat them. Oh, indeed. It's very tasty. You had some the other night. Oh. You seem to enjoy it. Oh. Of course, I uh, do save some of the best parts for myself. <coughs> Our home has been here since long before I was born, and it will be here long after I, too, have been consumed. It is a part of the cycle of our family. A cycle that you are now a part of. It was no accident us ended up here, was it? What are you going to do to us? We were hoping we could convince you to stay of your own free will, but since that is now no longer possible, we just mandate that you stay. You can't shoot us both. Just you. The fuck you will. Shame to have to eat. But insubordination can never be tolerated. <laughs> in your energy.
Why are you doing this? Did you know that in order to get that wonderful marbling in steak, they force feed the animal for two weeks before the slaughter? And during that time, they uh, got to make sure the animal barely moves at all. See, this forces the fat to form at an accelerated rate. So what would ordinarily be dry, tough beef becomes rich, tender meat. You should be grateful. No more waiting to start the wonderful journey of motherhood. What? Of course, farmers do have an advantage. They, they know what their animals have been eating. They don't have that advantage. I forgot how good dark skin tastes. Ivan is the father to all. All the polyphers in the forest. All the children in the cave. You red fats! Well, there were for a time, but Ivan's father realized that he had to breed with other women. Otherwise, the children suffer defects. You weren't born here? No. Let me out. We can get out of here together. <laughs> I've been a polyper for 40 no. years. I don't much want to leave. He stole you away from your family. He showed me the light. How is she? She's ready. <laughs> you will be a welcomed addition to our family. Mary. Let me go, you sick fuck! At home. Kendra, I am very excited for this. Huh? You will probably be my last. Two years, Caitlin will reach the age of ascension, and God will take her as his first wife, become leader of the Polyphorus. Then I will be obsolete and no longer allowed to mate. But until then... Oh, Kendra, Kendra... I have built a society of inclusion where all are treated as equal, simple rules, simple consequences, alive, free of worry and doubt. So lies. You manipulate all of them. Soon you will see. Soon you will love me. <laughs> Kendra. If you become properly assimilated and accept the powerful ways, and eventually you too will be in the house like Mary. Huh? And if not. Well then you will be assimilated. Piece by piece. No, 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 no more waiting. Time to receive your seat. No! Get away from me! Stay away from her, you fucks! Uh, 
I'll be back tomorrow. No, <laughs> oh, she's not for you. Not yet. from the house. If it's even there. It'll be there. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. <sighs> Which way? This way. Run! 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 Faster! Go! 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 I'll kill you! Hurry up! Go! 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 Watch out. <laughs> Did you find it?
Hej ved. Mom. It's gonna be okay. Stay quiet. She's coming with us. No, we, we gotta get out of here. We can't worry about somebody else. She's a prisoner. Do you want to come with us? I love you. it out. No. Stop it. I can't do it anymore. I need you. I need my cancer back. We're gonna drive out of here. We're gonna make it. Okay? Okay? Together. Let it go. Stay back! I swear, I thought you'd show more respect for your family. What the hell are you talking about? I can't believe you don't remember. You were born here. You're lying. It's true. When about three, your mama took you and ran into the woods. When he caught up to her, she paid for her crime. But you were gone. He's fucking with your head. He, no, wait! You're just saying this to get me to stop. I knew it the second I saw you. That scar on your arm. I gave it to you. Please. Look. Don't listen to him. Don't. Look. Every part of her son gets one. We gotta get out of here. Just, just kill him. This whole place felt like home. What are you doing? You're the family I've been looking for my whole life. No, baby, no!
Ah. You are so stupid. How can you not see the greatness of our family? Ah. You've taken everything from me. I have given you life. A life you clearly don't deserve. You die, fuck. Son, I am truly sorry it had to end like this. Everything could have been so different if you had only accepted who you are. We gotta go now! Shit. Get Ella to the car. I'll grab the catcher. Thank you. 